All right, this is Ben Miller. Uh, what you see on the screen there is my dirty desktop. Uh, you also see uh, the name of a course that I'm developing right now that's going to be an online course, but uh, th this is just a little uh, uh, quick video designed to help people out uh, who are looking to get retry rates, retransmission rates in the Air Magnet Wi-Fi Analyzer software, that software from Fluke Networks. Uh, the reason why I have this up is so you can get my contact information. You can follow me on Twitter, Ben underscore Sniff Wi-Fi is my handle. You can also uh, email me, Ben at Sniff Wi-Fi. Uh, so to be able to do that, this, you, uh, you do have to have the Air Magnet Wi-Fi analyzer. I don't want to go into too many details about uh, all, all the stuff with licensing and everything like that. But the big things to know is this is commercial software. Uh, you should be able to get it for a little bit under $4,000 US. You also need a card, a capture card that is compatible with Air Magnet. There are some internal cards that do it. Um, I happen to be using an external card. It is the uh, Proxim 8494. Proxim 8494 is the model of card that I use for, for my capture. Uh, so, so here's our Air Magnet software. And again, this is just a little quick lesson. So. I got asked by someone on Twitter what's a good way to take a look at retry percentages, uh, sort of see what's hurting my network, what's, uh, what's not hurting my network, etc. In Air Magnet, they make it very, very simple. Just ignore all the bells and whistles you see on the screen. Step number one, get yourself to the infrastructure screen. Lower left-hand corner there of Air Magnet is the place where you get to infrastructure. So get to infrastructure first and foremost. Uh, second thing, find your access point. The way I like to do that is I go up to the upper left-hand corner where it says AP list. I change that to listed by SSID. So that way I see all the networks that are in my area. The, the office that I happen to be in is the office of a movie production company, Rough and Tumble Productions. Uh, go see the movie, uh, We Gotta Get Out of This Place. It's, it's gonna be on Stars, uh, the, the cable network Stars. It's also gonna be in theaters uh, coming up uh, later this year, later here in 2014. So there you go. Hopefully the folks from Rough and Tumble are, are happy now that I uh, am, am using their office as a guinea pig. Uh, in, in any case, notice there, I, I found Rough and Tumble, and here's the key thing, I clicked on my access point. The reason why that's so important is if you notice in the lower left, that makes it so I'm only capturing on the channel of my access point. The rough and tumble access point is on channel number six, it looks like here. Um, so, so now I'm capturing everything that's going across on channel number six. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to the lower right where they show the statistics and you wanna choose the right way of viewing the statistics or the correct way of viewing the statistics. There are two options here that you can look at. You can look at what your devices are transmitting. Uh, you could also look at what your devices are receiving. Whichever way you wanna look though, whether you wanna look at transmitting or receiving, make sure you choose total and then percent total. That's what you always want an air magnet or almost always want an air magnet. You want TX total percent total or RX total percent total. If you think there's a problem with the downlink to a device, you'd probably choose RX total percent total. If you think there's a problem with the way the device is transmitting back to the access point, then you'd probably choose TX total percent total. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna take the example of streaming video. I'm gonna uh, stream the uh, NCAA tournament game that is happening here right now. I'm actually gonna do it on my phone so that we don't have to interfere with this screen. Uh, you, you all may hear it in the background when the, when the phone starts streaming, in fact. Uh, but that's what I'm gonna use uh, s sort of for my example here. So I want RX total percent total. There you go. You probably heard that right there. So that's, uh, that's the streaming that's going on in the background, but it's, it's going to my phone. So because it's going to my phone, I want RX total percent total. Uh, so what I do is over back over on the left-hand side, I can just go through my list of devices. There you see my laptop. That's the Apple device ending in uh, MAC address BB8B. I'm not really doing much on the network now. You know, if I were to bring up a, a web browser here and, and let's go to news.google.com, uh, I, I would start to see some traffic going across. Notice how the Apple device just turned green 
Uh, notice how I now have some data uh, going to my device. Um, I also uh, have this Silex technology device. To be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure that what that is. I think that's the office printer here. Uh, but then the important device is my phone. Now I have to know my phone's MAC address. Um, if, if I know my phone's MAC address, I can give my phone an alias. I'll give my phone a little alias here. I'll call it uh, Ben's phone. In, in Air Magnet, it takes a little while for the aliases to stick. So you'll notice there, uh, the alias doesn't show up just yet for Ben's phone. It'll show up next time, though. But uh, the point is, as, lo as long as I stay clicked on Ben's phone, as, as long as uh, that's what I'm showing there, uh, then these statistics should update. Now, actually, I wonder if I chose the wrong network. I might be connected to this RNT network. Uh, so notice I did the same process there. I opened up RNT. I clicked on the access point. Notice in the lower left, that causes me to capture on channel 40. Uh, in this case, it looks like there's no data on channel 40, and so that's, it's probably not uh, the network that I'm on. So let's get back to my channel. Let's get back to channel number six. So I click on the access point. I'll click on my phone. There we go. Now we see the amount of data steadily increasing over there. And uh, when I expand this little area that says frames slash bytes, that shows me my percentage of retries. That shows me the percentage of errors or retransmissions uh, that are happening between my devices. And the great thing about Air Magnet is you can quickly go from device to device. Right now, I see 0% retries. Now, that actually may be a little bit of an issue there. It's, it's very unlikely that there's no retries whatsoever. So I, so I actually may have a capture problem here. Uh, but you know, if, if I don't have a capture problem, if I've gone through the troubleshooting of the software to make sure it's actually working, uh, I can go right from device to device. I can click on my laptop, see the percentage of retries for my laptop. I can click on whatever this Silex technology thing is. Again, that might be the printer. Uh, see what percentage I get for the printer. Looks like 11% of the traffic going to the printer uh, is uh, retransmitted traffic. Uh, and then I can very quickly see what's happening in the other direction. I can very quickly see what these devices are transmitting. 20% of what the printer is transmitting is a retry. Now, that's a very small sample size there, but it still is 20%. For my phone, 0%. You know, it looks like uh, there, there are some retries, but it's such a small percentage that it's rounding to zero. For my laptop, 2%. So about 2% of what my laptop is sending to my access point is retry and and this is my favorite part of air magnet because it's allowing me to very quickly go through from device to device to just see okay what's causing me an error what's okay that's that's the type of thing you can look at there and i really don't want to mess with any of the other neighbors i i it's not like i've cleared it with any of the other uh companies that are in this building as far as whether they'd want me looking at their traffic uh so so i'm not going to go into other networks but you know, basically any network that shows up, any access point that you see, you can kind of go do the same thing. You can just, you know, click on that access point. You can choose whether you want to see what's being transmitted or whether what's uh, whether you want to see what's being received. Then you just go straight from device to device. You just click on a device. You see if there's a lot of uh, retries. Click on a device. See if there's a lot of retries. Click on a device. See if there's a lot of retries. That can give you a good idea of whether a device is uh, clogging up your network or not. Okay, uh, So that's a quick little tutorial here on, uh, on, on how to see retries in Air Magnet Wi-Fi Analyzer. It, you know, with I find with a lot of these protocol analyzers, with a lot of these wireless sniffers, uh, the, the, the best way to really learn about it is, is to try to just take baby steps, to try to just learn to do a couple of little things. You know, it's like, I'm, I'm a big basketball fan, I think, I find that the, the way a lot of times great basketball players are made is they they become a specialist in one thing first. You know, you have the little hook shot first, and if you can hit the hook shot over and over again, then you can develop a, a counter to the hook shot, a drop step, uh, an over-the-shoulder pass, whatever it is uh, that the player is going to do. And, and that's what I find uh, it is when it comes to sniffing Wi-Fi. Just learn a, a small part, learn a useful part of the analyzer first. Don't worry about learning every little feature, every little bell and whistle of uh, Fluke Air Magnet Wi-Fi Analyzer. 
Uh, all right, I'm going to sign off, uh, and I'm sure I'll see you all down the road. And, and like, I'm, like I said before, uh, look out for this class. It's, it's going to be called Wireless LAN Analysis. It's, it's, trust me, it's going to sound a lot better, and it's going to look a lot more professional than, uh, than this video.